Farmer Reef here. So right now, just hopped in the Hummer. We're heading down to uh, Home Depot. Gonna pick up some lumber, some building materials for uh, the new fish room for the Phoenix. So uh, yesterday, um, I picked up all the millwork, all the cabinetry. I'm gonna go different. Got a bunch of storage and drawers for all my gear. Um, that's where all the sump's gonna go, all the pumps, Delta skimmer. So you guys saw from my previous video, um, I had the bonfire there. That was all my old fish tank stands. And uh, my fish room, when I tore it and uh, renovated it, took all the lumber out of there and lit it all up. And so that's where we stand. So today we're gonna head out and uh, pick up all the materials I need. Uh, I'm gonna do like a nice black background. So after we're gonna frame it all up, get all the cabinetry, put it in here in Ontario, Canada today. As you guys can see it's snowing in behind me. So let's head into the store. So hopefully we get some good deals today on, on lumber. The more money you can save, the better on these things. You know, one of these cars, it's too bad they're all full of snow. Hey farm hands, how's everybody doing today? So on this episode, we're gonna be working on the, the Phoenix 700 new fish room. I'm gonna have this one in the basement, just like when I had it on my uh, 220 gallon beast tank. Um, that room was a little smaller, but this one I'm going full uh, three walls around here. I want it to be very comfortable, very practical, and just easy, a nice place that's clean, that you want to enjoy it. A lot, I see a lot of times people, they're tinkering around, they got pipes everywhere, nothing's where it should be, they got leaks. It's just very dirty, but if you can keep the place really clean and tidy, it's definitely you're going to keep it a lot cleaner and be more enjoyable to hang out in. So that's what the process I'm going to do here today, guys. Um, on this build, we have to do all put all the new millwork in I got. So the back wall, the right side will be all millwork, drawers, cabinetry, great place to store everything. As long as everything has a place, you're going to put it away. Um, I got a new, this, this cabin here has got a sink. That's great, so we can wash out our skimmers, we can clean all our pumps. Anything that's dirty, we can wash in the sink and let it dry. Definitely a lot easier that way. Um, this side, on the left side, this is where we're gonna put my sump. It's a pretty big sump that I'm building. It's gonna be going in this area, and I'm gonna have a frag tank, grow out tank, for the, for the 700, so it's gonna be a perfect spot to do any fragging, have a nice fragging station. And then this side, on the back wall, a lot of, we're gonna put a lot of my products, we're gonna have shelving. I'm um, putting a nice black three walls around here. It's got a, it's like a plywood, it's a nice plastic coating. It's very uh, waterproof, resistant, and it'll be great for that process. We can hang on reactors, UVs, all kinds of stuff. Same with the skimmer, beautiful spot for in, inside the sump. Easy to clean, easy accessible, and that's what it's all about. Always try to plan out all your build before you do it, do it on paper to make sure everything fits. Um, I have a lot of great ideas. If I can get it in my head and into this room, it should turn out pretty sweet, guys. So that's what it's all about. You want it to be a nice place you can hang out, functional, and it's just nice and clean. All right, guys, so right now I'm just waiting on my brother Joshua to show up. He's gonna help me uh, do a lot of the framing down here. It's, it's nice to have a second uh, set of hands for holding a lot of these materials. It makes things a lot easier. Um, one other thing I have to do, over if you see behind me in the corner, I have a sump pump here in Ontario, Canada, because uh, I live out in the country, and uh, we don't have like uh, city uh, sewers or anything. So what happens here is uh, the water from in the ground, it, it leaks, it's underneath the slab in the basement. So it goes in the corner and it has to be pumped outside. So that black pipe that you see there, I have to re uh, pipe that so all the millwork will fit perfectly around it. So that's one other process we have to do. Um, we have to do all the electrical. So I'm gonna hang the walls and then I'll end up, when I plan out where I want to put everything, I'll just do the electrical at that time. So end up being perfect. I want to put a backup generator on these uh, tanks as well. So you don't have to worry about if you're not around um, in the Apex system to control everything. It should be turned out great, guys. So my brother should be here anytime. We're going to get at it, but I'll keep you guys updated on the process and how things are going to go. Um, it's going to be a, you know, a longer build. They've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, I'm only one guy. So hopefully you guys keep tuning in. So 
So I'll show you some of the mill work. So this is all the cabinetry that's going in. Uh, that back wall, you see be all nice black. You can put all different kind of products on there. UV sterilizer, some piping. Um, this side here, this is where I'm gonna put my uh, my frag tank and sump because everything's gonna plumb from downstairs. Keep everything nice and close together. Um, that's the sump pump. I gotta relocate, do all the electrical. We're gonna strap all the ceiling, as you guys can see. So this is old farmhouse. You can see the old floor joists. So right here, we're gonna strap it all. We're gonna put a whole bunch of hot lights in this room to really brighten it up, make it very comfortable to hang out. Um, we're gonna do redo the floor. So, and a little bit of paint, and should be good to go. And then uh, we can start uh, doing a bunch of framing. So I just wanna show you guys around here a little bit what's gonna take place. All right guys, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding these studs in. What I did is I took a stud and I turned it on its side. So what it ends up, it'll end up giving me an inch and a half. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna put that, uh, the plywood uh, plastic on these studs right like this. So my, my sheets are six feet long. So I put one just a bit more than six so I can split two sheets onto one. And then right now I'm gonna put another uh, corner bead in here, another stud so I can take the other piece of uh, plywood and go all the way across. Why I did this is like fish room, I don't wanna lose any more space than I have to. And then this way if I have my plywood on here. I have this uh, void in the back. So this gives me a spot. I can run all my cabling or hide any plumbing or anything like that, so you don't have to see it, so it's more pleasing to the eye. So I'm gonna show you guys how you attach uh, two by four to concrete. So a few tools you need, and then uh, I'm just gonna cut the piece of wood. I'll show you how we're gonna drill and attach it. To attach this uh, two by four to the wall, to the concrete wall, you, know, you need an SDS uh, drill, works great. It's a hammer drill for concrete. And what I like to use, they're called Tapcons. Uh, these ones here are uh, two inch, uh, inch and a quarter, and you drill those, you see, you drill those right into the concrete. You'll pre-drill your pilot hole with your STS drill and then you use your tap con and then you'll screw it right to the wall. It works really well. So I'll, give you, I'll show you guys how it's done. So I end up cutting this piece at 80 inches. I'm going to place it in the corner so there's a place for the, the plywood to attach to. So just line that up. So you just take your STS uh, drill. Let's get started. like that. So what you're going to do now is now I have a, another drill and this is what I'm going to use to drill it into the concrete. So you just take your tap on, place it here. So you're just going to line up your holes to where you pre-drill. Just like that. See that? Solid. It's right into the concrete. So I'm just going to go ahead and pre uh, get these all ready, get them all installed, and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. The framing is going pretty good. I'm pretty much done. I'm just waiting on Josh to come so we can start uh, laying the, the black background. So you guys can see, it worked out pretty good. Um, I ended up, I had to add an extra 2x4 on the front of it, just because the walls are out a little bit, and just for the keep everything uh, level, plumb, and square. So I ended up, I had to move it up just a little bit, but it's all good, so when I cut my electrical into it, everything will fit a lot better anyway. So this is how it's looking guys, you want to check it all up close personal and then uh, we'll start laying uh, the black background and then I got to get all the millwork put into place, get everything level and then we can put the countertops on. Guys, so I got the, all the walls up right now as you can see, it's a very nice uh, shiny black to it. It's going to look great, there's different shelves, there's products on here. I'm planning on, I'm going to put the Farm Boy Reef, my Farm Boy Reef logo right in the middle, light that up, it's going to look good. Um, I got the millwork into place. It's all solid, it's all uh, level plumb and square. All I have to do now is put the countertop out on this one. And I got my sink in, it's pretty much good to go. I just gotta do some plumbing. And uh, I got the sump uh, pump, it's all re-plumbed, electrical's done on it. So just a few more things to go. Um, what else, I gotta build the stand here on the left side. That's where the sump's gonna go. We're gonna have the freight tank. We're gonna have all the lighting for over the freight tank as well. And uh, we're gonna go from there. We gotta get the drawers in, do the floor. We gotta strap the ceiling and then do all the electrical for all the pot lights, the electrical for all the stands, and then the drywall paint, and then do the floor, the last. But it's coming along good, guys. So that's uh, it for this uh, week's episode. I just wanted to give you guys a little update how it's going, and then uh, I'll give you another update uh, how it's all coming together so you guys can see the finished product and go from there, guys. So uh, thanks for tuning in this week, guys. I really appreciate it. If you guys could please subscribe and hit the like button.